Shout out to Brown, Aaron Smith Jr. Boy, Money Brown, he get a lot of money, that's why I call him Money Brown. <laughs> What's good, Money Brown TV? What up, what up? Yeah. I want to give a shout out to Money Brown TV. Thank you so much for everything. Hey, Ryan Garcia here. Shout out to Money Brown TV. And uh, keep punching, baby. Yo, 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 what's going on out the fight world? It's your boy Money back with another one, family. This one heard on a legend and a big dog in this fight game. We have the legendary Canelo Alvarez, the hottest fight on the planet, the number one pound for pound king, the four division world champion, and the current undisputed super middleweight world champion. And then we have Jamel, the Iron Man Charlo, the two time WBC super welterweight world champion, and the current unified super welterweight world champion. Now, Charlo has came out and showed Canelo Alvarez his love and said people need to quit hating on Canelo Alvarez and give that man his flowers Why he here. I want y'all to listen to what Jamil Charlo had to say and I'll be back with the great assessment family. When Canelo didn't take opportunity to fight my brother, you know, it just, you know, when you look at Canelo's career, you're like, hey, you made it, you did it. You know, and after I knocked this motherfucker out, I want y'all to look at Jamil, hey, we're going to just be at his fights. You know, like, he can do what the fuck he want right now, like, you know what I'm saying? Instead of just, Canelo deserved the opportunity. He deserved whatever he's trying to accomplish right now, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker buying horses and big-ass horses and shit for his partners and shit. That shit tight to me. Like, that's motivation to me. He can't fight me, he won't fight me. He moved up to 175, he fighting big old motherfuckers, and that's cool. That's an accomplishment to me right there alone. You know, he's dedicated, he trades very hard, he works hard. You know, you gotta get the man his flowers. That's, that's what it's about right now. It's about, you know, like Earl Smith, for instance, you know, his career to me, all of the situations and tragic situations, and he still arise to be one of the top. Look how he's moving right now. Like, that's tight to me. Like, to, that's what I, I, I like that. That's, that give me, that give me more like a, that theory is to be one of, one of them guys. As y'all can see, man, Jamel Charlo just showed Canelo his love and gave him his flowers. But the one one thing that stood out to me in that interview that Jamil Cello said, he said, you know what, I couldn't fight Canelo, so you know what, I moved on. I moved on, bro, and did what I had to do. But Canelo Alvarez has earned the right to do what he want to do and, and to accomplish what he's trying to accomplish. And that's what people don't understand, bro. You got people out here that want to be superstars and you got people out here that want to accomplish something, fam. And Canelo Alvarez is trying to accomplish greatness. Understand that. He don't need to be a champion. He's already a fucking four division world champion. He's trying to accomplish greatness. So you got to look at your resume and you go down and you say, what can I do that's better than the next, fam? That's the mission he's on. Don't mean he's ducking nobody. Don't mean he's afraid to fight nobody. That's what y'all got to get through y'all head, bro. This dude, Jamil Charlo, they understand that, bro. They understand where they at. They understand where they're trying to get to. You feel me? But the thing is, they can show respect where respect is due. Even if they don't fuck with Canelo, they don't have to like the man. You feel me? They don't have to like the man. But the thing is, they showing respect, bro. At the end of the day. Like, we in this game. We know how hard this shit is to get to where the fuck we get to. We all trying to get there. So when you get there, what he say? You made it. <laughs> you understand? And that's why I say, after I knock this motherfucker out, right? Hopefully he's saying if he knock out Brian Castano, then his stock go up. People be like, okay, he did what he had to do. You feel me? But it's a long way to get to that Canelo, um... That Canelo status, just being real. Shouts out to Mel Cholo. He achieving great fucking things. And if he if he become undisputed, he's a, like the dude is fucking amazing. He better be on everybody pound for pound list, hands down. Jamel Cholo is one of my favorite fucking fighters out here, and I'm gonna start pushing for him because he's out here trying to do everything he got to do to go out there and be great. To go out there and be great. You understand what I'm saying? But Canelo Alvarez has done it. It's a difference when you're trying to do, and it's a difference when you've done it. And that's what people pissed off about, that Canelo Alvarez has done it. And not only that he did it, he's still going for greatness. He's still going for greatness. He disciplined in his own ways. He's doing every fucking thing that he got to do. And people don't like that. People can't respect that shit. Like, come on, bro. Y'all got to cut the bullshit, bro. Y'all got to cut the bullshit. We got to start, you know, um, giving respect where respect is due. Learning how to respect the game first and foremost. Right? Learning how to respect the game first and foremost. Learning history of the game. Understand where people are trying to go. You know what I'm saying? When you first coming up in the game, of course you want to become world champion. Everybody want to become world champion, make a million dollars, treat their family right. You know what I mean? But when you got somebody like Canelo Alvarez who has did everything that he's done, who's been a world champion since he was fucking 20 years of age, bro. Since he was 20. Let that sink in. The man is 31 now. <laughs> the man been a world champion since he was fucking 20 years old, bro. 
So now he just accomplished more things to add to his resume so he can become great. So I respect, bro. I respect when 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 your contemporaries and people right there um that's in your profession, they can come up and say, man, dude, we understand it, bro. You get your respect. Just like Floyd got his respect. Nobody questioned Floyd Mayweather's in his moves. Nobody ever questioned Floyd Mayweather's in his moves. The only thing people did, they waited a little bit and, and they they wanted to see what movie make to see if they were going to be next. And if they wasn't next, they move on and did what they had to do. You know what I'm saying? They move on and did what they had to do, but they understood it because Floyd Mayweather has earned the right to do what he wanted to do. Canelo Alvarez has earned the right to do what he wanted to do. And people just got to respect that, bro. And then once people respect that, then you can start mix and matching the other fucking fighters to do big things out there. You can start mixing and matching the other fighters to do big things out there. You feel me? And that's what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? But Canelo Alvarez has earned his, his, his respect. Canelo Alvarez deserves to do what he want to do. And it ain't like he's just doing bullshit. You know, people pissed off about the Triple G fight. Man, it's business, bro. It's business at the end of the day. It's business. You feel me? Like I say, you got to look at other fighters and you got to look at um, Triple G, right? Let's just say at the, at the middleweight division. Triple G would be the number one middleweight in the game. Look at the middleweight division. Triple G would be the unified world fucking champion while Charlo hold the title and Demetrius Andrade hold the title. So if he's the number one middleweight in the game, y'all can't really say shit. I don't give a fuck if y'all say, oh, he's 40, he look like this. I think Canelo going to beat his ass and stop him. It don't take away from the fact, on paper, he's the number one middleweight in the game. And y'all got to respect it, bro. Y'all got to respect it. But you got fighters out there that's moving up, that's fighting subpar. You got fighters still in division fighting subpar and, and things of that nature. So at the end of the day, man, I'm going to say this. I love this boxing game. Everybody love this boxing game. Everybody want to see the fights that they want to see. And I'm not mad at people for wanting to see the fights that they want to see. Um, Canelo versus Charlo, Canelo versus Andrade, Canelo versus Benavidez are great fucking fights. Those opportunities are still there. It's not like they just gone. It's not like Canelo returned today, they return, and then we never get it. Let that shit play out with Canelo, Triple G, and Dimitri Bevel. Get that out the way, and then we move on and see how we do in 2023. But while we're in 2022, you got the whole Charlo and, and, and Andrade and Benavidez feet to the fire and have them fight some tough motherfuckers too to step it up and say, okay, nigga, he just beat him. There's no way you should deny him. You understand what I'm saying? Y'all going off of what y'all think. Or oh, I feel like they can beat them because I've seen them do this, 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 that to support fucking fighters. And I'm not knocking them for their skill set. But if they're not going out there fighting the best of the best and doing it against the best, then stop saying what a fighter do to Canelo Alvarez when Canelo out there fight way better competition, bro. And that's just being real, bro. That's just being real. Shouts out to Jamil Charlo for showing love, man. You know, like I say, I don't, I don't think he fuck with Canelo to the extent to where he go out and do this and do that. But he learned to respect Canelo Alvarez and understand the game and say, you know what? That man earned the right to do what the fuck he doing. And we need to get to that level at the end of the day, man. Shouts out to Canelo. Can't wait for May 7th. It's on the way. Go out there. Beat the shit out of Bivol and show these boys why you're the number one pound for pound king in the game and why you can move the way you can move. Period. Until then, it's your boy Monty. It's the NSBC moving and everybody safe in these streets. Hit them thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. You want to donate? OG Money on Cash App. Trey have to 52 at gmail.com on PayPal. If not, just tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, share the videos. And y'all know how your boy get down, man. Big dog status, family.